So we are five months into the year of 2019, which means we're due for yet another episode of the top Android apps. This is the May edition, so let's kick straight into the video. So if you're interested in customizing your phone in any way, shape or form, then you're usually starting with the wallpaper. And one of my favorite apps to find a wallpaper of late is Wardrobe. Now, aside from the super great collection of high quality backdrops found within this application, my favorite part of the app is the design itself. It has a super modern look and feel and a really easy to use user interface. And it just makes finding new wallpapers as well as favoriting, downloading or sharing them really easy to do. There is a pro version as well, which removes the ads and enables a few extra features. And what's cool is that the developer of this app has been kind enough to give me 50 free promo codes, which I will be giving out over on my Twitter and Instagram accounts in the coming weeks. So make sure to follow me there to be the first in line to grab those. If you're anything like me, then you probably have a long list of upcoming deliveries and packages at any given time. And a super easy way to keep a track of all of them is by using the unreleased app, one tracker. So as the name implies, this app lets you manually input any tracking numbers for upcoming deliveries so that you can see all of their delivery statuses within the one application. It auto detects the postage carrier and it even lets you scan in barcodes, which is neat. So definitely an app worth having around if you're someone who needs to stay on top of incoming packages. If you're looking to make your phone stand out in the crowd, then an app that will definitely help in doing so is Borderlight. Borderlight is a live wallpaper application that essentially emulates the edge lighting feature found on most Galaxy devices. However, this is a more permanent solution. And so rather than just activating when a notification arrives on your phone, the borders from this app will stay visible as long as they are enabled. There's a heap of customization within the app settings, including making the borders fit around notches of all shapes and sizes. So definitely worth checking out. And speaking of notches, perhaps you're into a slightly more subtle customization approach. And if that's you, then maybe Notch Pie is the one to keep in mind. This is an APK not found on the Google Play Store. And so you'll need to jump over to the XDA link below to get this one on your own phone. But once you've done so, the app will basically place a little battery ring around your phone's notch. And that's just about it. The setup is somewhat convoluted in my opinion, and it certainly won't work on notches that aren't of the water drop variant. But if you do have a phone with a water drop notch or something similar, then this is a great way to add in some nice functionality. Right, so whilst I normally appreciate a cleaner design, there's no doubting the potential of the keyboard and button mapper application. As the name would suggest, this app lets you remap pretty much any hardware key on your phone. For example, I'm able to use this app to launch into Google Maps or even a predetermined location route just by tapping on the volume up button, or I can launch into an audio recording application when tapping the volume down button. There are limitations on what hardware keys can be remapped, but it works close to flawlessly. And I certainly think that a lot of you will find this application super beneficial. Now, before we press on any further, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Dashlane. Dashlane is a super powerful password manager that makes browsing the internet an absolute breeze. It does this by securely storing and then automatically filling in any login information for any website or application you use. This means that you no longer have to worry about remembering or even typing in any username, password or personal info ever again. Not only is it the best way to store account information, but it's also the safest. They use patented security architecture, which means no one but you can see your passwords. And it will even warn you if there's been some sort of security breach on any of the accounts you log into, which means you can jump in and fix it quick smart. All you have to do is create and remember one master password. And this is never sent to Dashlane or stored on their servers. So even if Dashlane somehow got hacked, your information is still completely safe and secure behind the master password that only you know. The app itself has a super nice design and it will also help in making sure your passwords are as secure as possible, giving you suggestions if it feels as though your passwords are weak or reused and perhaps worth changing. Dashlane can even automatically generate and store secure passwords for you. The best part is that Dashlane is free, but if you want all of the premium features, you can also try Dashlane Premium at no cost for 30 days by visiting dashlane.com slash Sam Beckman. And if you like it, you can use the coupon code Sam Beckman to get a crazy 50% off. All right, on to the next application. There have been one too many times where I've accidentally swiped away a notification that I actually wanted to stay put. And so a super helpful solution to this problem is the aptly named recent notification. As you can probably guess, this is an app that keeps a track of any notification that finds its way onto your device, meaning that if you accidentally remove one or you just want to jog your memory on an older notification for whatever reason, then this app is the way to do so. As simple as that. 
If you're in the market for a clean, lightweight and fast browser that gets out of the way and lets you browse, then you may just want to look into Via Browser. The beauty of using a browser like this is that it is fast and that's because it's a super lightweight app that doesn't use a lot of your phone's memory and this makes the overall experience of using the browser super zippy. There are quite a few customizations and tweaks you can make in the settings as well so you can make the experience your own but aside from that a super modern browser that is worth a look. So if you're looking to spice up your home screen experience, then it's always worth looking into using a custom live wallpaper template. And one of the best I've come across in recent times is called Gradient for KLWP. This KLWP theme transforms your screen into a really fluid experience with lots of cool integrations and three main pages. You've got your home screen with shortcuts to a few key applications as well as a search bar widget and a time, date and weather widget. You've then got an apps page with a clean grid of app shortcuts available for quick access and then finally a music widget page as well. There's also a neat quick access bar for launching into a series of application shortcuts and toggles. Overall, it's a really nice user experience and definitely super unique as well. If you're a heavy music listener and you're interested in upping your user experience while listening to music, then you may want to look into Skip Track. So this APK lets you remap a long press of the volume button to control media playback when your phone screen is off and does so all without root access. This means no longer do you have to unlock your phone or switch your display on to skip to the next track. All you have to do is long press and it's done. You do need to run an ADB command to get the app to work, so I'll leave a link to the XDA article with the instructions on how to do this below. And the article has just recently been updated with an app that supposedly doesn't require an ADB prompt, so that could be worth checking out as well. And finally for today, one of the things I feel like I'm constantly doing in life is weighing up decisions. And so an app designed to make the decision-making a little more informed is pros and cons. It's a super simple app, basically lets you input any decisions or dilemmas that you might have and then add in a range of arguments, either positive or negative, and the app will do the math for you and show what decision you should make according to your arguments. It's got a minimal design, it's also got a dark mode which is very much appreciated, but it's a simple app that will help those of you who may be a little indecisive. But that's it, done and dusted. Another 10 apps showcased for this month. As always, each and every application featured throughout the video has been linked down in the notes below. And if you enjoy these top apps videos, there are plenty more on the channel. So make sure you check out the playlist linked here. And if you like what you see, then maybe think about hitting that subscribe button as well as that little notification bell so you don't miss a future episode. Aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.